Hi, my name is Guy. I work in the health and fitness industry as a consultant, and we switched from Skype for Business to Zoom meetings. For more reviews like this, click the link below. So both uh, Skype for Business and Zoom are great for conference calls, for meeting clients um, without traveling, obviously, um, but also for getting group sessions and for holding meetings. Um, so not just one to one, but uh, you know, bringing teams together or even hosting webinars and conferences. Uh, the great thing about them for me is all the extras, the chat functionality, um, being able to share screens um, and yeah, just getting people together and sharing information. When it comes to um, holding webinars or even, I mean, even just one to one uh, calls, Zoom is really great. Uh, it has, uh, well, we certainly use a heap more of the functionality um, of Zoom with things like chat, screen sharing, which are possible as well in Skype. Um, but the thing that really nails it for us is probably the integrations with either calendar bookings or straight into Google Calendar or even pe people booking appointments with us and it's setting up a Zoom for us straight away. Um, and there's a heap more functionality when you get into webinars for collecting delegate information, making sure people have bought tickets that can then actually attend the Zoom. So it, it's the integration piece which um, really makes Zoom a lot better for us. So for us, Skype for Business is great. We have a landline number basically attached to that that we use on business cards um, or on um, yeah, any other carter or sending out emails, conference bookings. And it's great to have that landline number there. Um, which is then forwarded either to someone's mobile or to a voicemail. Um, and we can use that to basically have more contact coming into the business through that fixed number. Um, and it's basically masking. People don't necessarily know that we're using Skype, um, but they can contact us any which way, wherever we are. So the setup for Skype um, would have been, I think, probably 12 or 13 years ago. So from what I remember, the setup was very straightforward, very easy. Um, and we renew the subscription on that every year, but we mainly use Zoom now. There are a lot more settings. There's a lot more security um, settings to go through, it seems, from our point of view in, in Zoom. But once you go through those a few times, they, they, they do update regularly. But once you get the hang of it, it's, it's pretty easy to set up and implement. Um, and uh, as I say, or as I said before, also to integrate with uh, other platforms too. So when looking for this type of software, obviously cost is something to consider. And there are a bunch of free packages um, with uh, reduced functionality or even trials. Um, I think the main thing to look at is how many users you're going to have. Um, and the other big thing for us is the integration. So there's the, the possibilities are, seem endless, but uh, getting two or three integrations really help you to work smarter um, and make your business look more professional as well.